All right, hey, Shalom, Akiam. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Raka Kodash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is true depiction of the one ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called God, the one ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means he is the existing one, Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you know, um, I got this, this video right here, which I'm not going to show the whole thing. From a beloved brethren, which uh, shows, uh, it says right here, sex traffic victim, sex traffic victim um, escapes. Like I said, I don't want to show the whole thing. If you go to the inst if you have an Instagram page, um, go to this guy Obadiah Atl. I don't know if he's um GMS or not, but just to see this video. I'm gonna, you know, show some parts of it. Right. So I'm gonna stop it right there due to the fact, you know, it's kind of graphic because um the top part of her fingers was cut off in this video. I think they call it the phalanges of your fingers. I'm not too sure, you know, different body parts. It was cut off and she was duct taped up. I don't know if they found her in a dumpster or found her somewhere, but this chick escaped. And the reason why I'm doing this video, because this is the valley of the shadow of death. And if you don't fear the Lord, man, you're going to be out here as prey, especially you women. You know, like, to, you know, dress all, you know, you know how you women like to dress and think it's cute and you get stalked and a lot of y'all end up missing. Now, peep this. County ended with more than 100 people in handcuffs accused of preying on women and minors forced into the sex trade. The undercover bust comes on the heels of a newly created human trafficking squad at the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office. That's where Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is for us right now, and it sounds like maybe these operations are paying off. Yeah, and, and Sheriff Chad Chronister says undercover detectives actually made contact with more than 1,000 people, potential Johns, people who may have participated uh, in this sex trade, and many of them declined to come to Hillsborough County because they knew how successful these things have been. Watching this video hits home for Connie Rose. The entire time that I was in high school, you know, I was being trafficked. By her father in Tampa during the 1970s. Connie knows what it's like for the four women and 17-year-old girl freed from human trafficking during a recent Hillsborough Sheriff's Office crackdown. But the most important thing is, is that they're not out being trafficked, being sold or rented out anymore. The undercover sting, dubbed Operation Roundup, netted at least 125 men accused of exploiting and preying on minors and adults for sex. Those arrested include a Hillsborough public school teacher and a pastor from Tampa. These are people that our children look up to. Right. So there it is, man. And this ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new, brothers, man. You definitely have to fear the Lord. And for us, you know, brothers that have daughters, man, you got to, you know, Guide, guide and protect them the best way you can in this in this fucking hell that we in. But this is all prophecy. You see, a lot of you women, man, out here with that duels thou will spirit, you you going to get some that chick escaped. Luckily escaped, and she was being tortured, man. Like I said, I want to play the I ain't want to play the full video because I don't want you know YouTube to flag it with they with they you know they corny asses, man. But here it is in the scriptures. 
Revelations 18 and 1, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, is become the habitation of devils, and the hole of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So that's the after, after effects of the destruction of this evil ass kingdom, this evil ass empire. What is going to be here? Okay, it's going to be a wasteland where you know you have you know desert creatures and, and things of that nature going to be living here. All right, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So this is a nationwide thing. But the human trafficking and all that stuff, the, the pedophile rings, as well, etc. This is this is big business. You see. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Now you're doing with the imports and exports, you know, making um, you know, making a lot of um business transactions with United States, you know, as far as the cars and everything that comes here. Dealing with her abundance through her delicacies. Now also dealing with human trafficking. <laughs> And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, who are the Lord's people? We are starting off with the elect. You got to You got to renew. You start off by renewing of your minds, man. Changing your ways, putting, on, putting off that old man or old woman and be renewing your minds, man. Because the Lord is getting ready to judge this earth. It's getting ready to judge this place in, in, a, in, a, in one of the most dramatic ways ever. That he be not partaker of her sins, and that he receive not of her plagues. Major plagues are on the on their way. Right now, you're dealing with um the baby food is the, the baby formula and things of that nature is running out for you ratchet ass bitches. You know, no other way but but massa. Can't stand you fucking people, man. It says for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. Most I did not forget. The Emily Fall is not a punk. You see? Everything's going to be done on his time. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So, all right. So, pretty much what the Lord is going to bring to this place is going to be way worse than what happened to, to his people, man. The things that happened to, her, happened to us here as a people is going to be way worse. But you how by Shimei Shai is going to bring here, man. And it is justified. You see that whole prostitution and all that stuff. That's 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 you know, that's an old um job. But when you're dealing with human trafficking and kidnapping, that's a whole nother ordeal. That leads into Horgan Orvestin and various other things, man. And that's big business. Alright. It says how much she had glorified herself and lived diligently. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she had said in her heart, I sit as a queen, I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. So this this kingdom is the heavenly fall has allowed this kingdom to be built up to such a status to where they feel like they're untouchable. But the elites of the society know they're about to get touched. They know Yahweh shines on his way, so that builds up a, a false sense of pride. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, one day, death. Mourning and famine. And these are the things that's on their way rapidly, speedily, and shall be utterly burnt with fire. Those are the thermonuclear uh, missiles that's going to be shot off over here. For strong is the Lord God who judged her, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her, lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Cause look, you know, how are we gonna make a living? How are we, you know, make merchant and you know merchandise and things of that nature? A new, a new government will arise out of that. And everything's gonna be under the Messiah and the and the elect, Yahweh Shai and his elect. So it's gonna be one one shocking event, a shocking event that's gonna shock the world, man. It's getting ready to take place. Standing afar off for the fear of a torment, saying, "Alas, alas." That great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. 
One fucking hour, 60 minutes, man. This evil ass place. And I wonder why, you know, that thing going on in Florida. A lot of, yo, man. A lot, a lot of Israelites out there, man. For, for, you, for you, you know, Jake's coming in and you learning, man. This is a stern morning. Be circumspect out here. You have daughters and all that stuff. Man, you can't let your daughter go get abroad, man. This is serious business. That's why we need to get back in power because some of us dealing with the baby mama and shit, disrespectful ass woman, talking crazy. So if you're in that situation, you got to, you know, send them prayers up, man. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buy her merchandise anymore, like I said earlier. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen, purple and silk and scarlet, and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory, manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble, and cinnamon and odors, ointments, and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots, modern day cars and stuff, the chariots and slaves and slaves in the souls of men. Right. So you can equate that to different variations because we, we're technically we're all slaves here. Under um, I forgot the, uh, the the name of the contract the beloved apostle be be talking about. You know, we we're, we're slaves here through the birth certificate and various other things, but not human trafficking slaves. You know, who it says in in NIV cargoes of cinnamon and of spice, of incense, myrrh and frankincense, of wine and olive olive oil, of fine flour and wheat. Cattle, sheep, horses, and carriages, and human beings sold as slaves. So this is a whole different type of slavery. That's human trafficking, man. The cartels have been doing it. You know, that's, that's something that's being, being done in the Philippines, all throughout the world, man. Human trafficking. Pedophile rings. These are the things that's transpiring because the wicked is ruling right now and it's prophecy unfolding so what, what 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 man you ought to be if you know these things you need to fucking fear the lord man you, you need to fight this good fight pray for yourself your your, your loved ones the beloved brethren and your seeds man you know this is this is a very very serious ordeal here the valley of the shadow of death this is psalms 23 let me get up out of here the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You understand? This is a, is a spiritual warfare. And you gird up your loins with, with this truth. All right? And when we have leaders on this planet, and that's what we follow in different camps. You got, you know, I like to call myself a steward, managers and stuff like that, big bros, you know. Some brothers are being called elders. You know? That's how things are. are that's, that's part of being, being a shepherd. Okay, he making me to lie down in green pastures and leading me beside the still waters. That's dealing with this truth. It's a blessing and it's an honor for Heavenly Father to have you in this 100%, man. My, he restored my soul and our, and our soul is being restored with this truth. He leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, man. All right. I will fear no evil for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, and they come from me. And that's all. And, and the reason why these things are happening, you know, many of our people have been born in vain. And that's judgment. And that's judgment, man. You understand? Everybody think you know, these women, especially you women out here, think you can just hop from dick to dick. And you no, know, man. They don't have some of you women get captured like that. They're gonna they're gonna torture you. Cut your toes off, your ears off. Just like the movie Hostile. So this this is where our comfort is at, this truth. All right? Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, which is this word. Thou preparest a table for me in the, in the presence of my enemies. 
Thy anointings my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Most High is terrible, man. Stay prayed up. Give give thanks every day, man. Give thanks every day. Shalom.